Are you an introvert or an extrovert? Or are you an extroverted introvert? That's what we're gonna talk about here in this video. Okay, the first thing is that some people drain you while others don't. This can attest to people enter your energy field whether it feels good for you or whether it doesn't. If it feels good for you, that brings out the more extroverted side, the side that wants to socialize and hang out and talk and whatever. And if that person doesn't feel good for you, if that person drains you, that's going to bring out the side of you that's like, I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna hang out, I don't wanna do anything, I just wanna curl up in my bed watch a movie. And number two kind of falls in line with that, and that's that you find people both intriguing and exhausting. You may notice that there are certain people in your life you want to know more about. You could talk to for hours. You can talk to about anything. You want to talk to them about anything and everything. And you're so interested in them. And a lot of that, again, has to do with their energy. But at the same time, there are other people, those that drain you, those that exhaust you, that even the thought of being around those people or that person makes you feel a little anxious and unsure and weary and like you just don't want to do it. Like it's effort and it's a lot of extra work and that you have to produce a lot more energy to balance out that interaction. All right, now here's a good one. You love being alone, but you enjoy good company. I feel like this one particularly speaks to me a lot because I have really become accustomed to my alone time. I spend most of my time alone, I'd say 75 to 80% of my time alone, which I used to hate. But I have found such peace in that, you know, we can find such solitude and acceptance and peace when we're in our alone time, that when we have the wrong people entering our energy zone, they can kind of just throw off all of that. They can throw off our peace and they can make us feel chaotic and frazzled. But at the same time, if we're around those right people, then we can appreciate their company. We want to be in their company, but it has to be when we're recharged and we feel ready to be in the company. Of others. Number four, your energy levels are closely tied to your environment. So I'll give you an example of this one. I had this job a few years ago, right? And I found myself very frustrated, like very angry all of the time. Short fused, irritable, snapping at people. Even my thoughts were more unaccepting and a little ruder. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because the environment I was in wasn't conducive for the best me. It didn't allow the best me to blossom. And it wasn't until I left that job and got out of that environment that I even realized it. My headaches went away, I felt happier, I felt lighter, and I felt more free. So you have to understand that this could be regarding people, but it could also be places. Like here's a weird one, that's another example of a place instead of people. I love going to raves and festivals. I love that environment, it stimulates me, it gives me energy, it makes me happy, I love the loud music. However, if I go to a bar on a Friday night or a Saturday night and there's all these conversations going on and chitter chatter and all of this and there's music going, I can't take it. I can't be there. And I think a big part of that too is, you know, you combine all of the energies of all of these different people in your space. So whether you're at a rave or at a bar, you're still gonna have a ton of people around, right? But it's like, what type of people are they? Are they meshing with your vibe? or are they kind of on a different level than you, whatever that may be. Next, and this is a big one, is that you would rather say what's on your mind and talk about expansive, interesting things or maybe subjects that you're interested in instead of small talk. So if you hate small talk, you're probably an extroverted introvert. Now there are so many people I know that love doing the small talk and the, hey, how are you? And how was your weekend and blah, 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 blah. Sometimes when I get asked those questions in my mind I roll my eyes I'm just like shut up can we just talk about some aliens or something <laughs> like geez let's talk about the expansion of the universe and how God created us all and let's talk about you know our, our soul contracts and all of these things and I'm just like this small talk is so unstimulating and so a lot of times what we tend to do 
is stay quiet in those types of situations that aren't stimulating our mind where we don't want to talk and so then what happens is people think that we're more, more introverted but we're not we're just not interested number six you enjoy socializing but you always have an escape plan <laughs> so are you someone that does the Irish goodbye, let me know in the comments below. I sometimes do it. I don't do it all the time, but it's, it's like a 50-50, you know? It's like a 50-50. My escape plan, I hope no one I do this to is watching. <laughs> but I'll say I have something going on at this time, so it only gives me this allotted amount of time to go to this place or do this event or spend time with this person. Like I want to see them, right? I want to spend time with them, but I know my capacity may only be two hours. So I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come by, let's do this, let's do that, but I have to get going at this time, da 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 da. Okay, so we always have an escape plan. I think a lot of times I notice this too, is a lot of people use their pets as an escape plan. A lot of people use their dogs. They're like, oh, I can't stay over, I can't do this, I gotta, I gotta let the dog out. You know you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. We have escape plans, and if you'd like, drop your escape plan in the comments below because I might want to use it, okay? <laughs> and here's the real kicker, okay? People often mistake you as an extrovert. I think if I asked everyone that I know at a personal level in my life, I bet 99% of them would call me an extrovert, 99% but that's because of the way that I act around those people because they're my safe people. They're my safe energy zone. So I can have that more extroverted side of me come out. But what they don't realize, what the people in your life may not realize is that when you're not around those specific people, you're not extroverted at all. Like today at the gas station, right? I pulled up to the gas station to go into the little mini mart, you know? And I saw a guy like walking towards the door and I was like, and it just happens so automatically that I'm like, I don't want to interact with that person at all. Not because they did anything wrong. I'm aware of that. I just, I just, no, don't want to have to say hi. I don't want to have to do any of that. And so I just sat in my car for an extra 30 seconds so that he'd go in and then I'd get in my car and go in. And it's just little things like that that us like extroverted introverts tend to do so that we can avoid those extra conversations. Sometimes I'll see someone at the gym that I know and I will try to work out in other areas of the gym, not because I don't dislike them or anything like that, but because like, I just don't want to talk. I just don't have it in me that day. And like, it's okay. It's okay to be an extroverted introvert. So if this sounds like you, let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear because I love this term and I feel like it defines me so well. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week and I will see you then.